Hello everyone. It's James again. And for those of you that are new to this channel. Thank you for giving this little cartoon man with a funny voice a bit of your time. And for those of you that are long time subscribers. I thank you from the bottom of my little cartoon heart. With that said. I want to keep things short again today. I did have a few news stories I wanted to cover. But they were just so sad. They took a lot out of me. But I will be covering them shortly. As it's much needed to show and uncover the true evil in this world. As I think many still are asleep to the fact of what narcissism is. And to what true demonic evil is. To many. It's what they see in a horror movie. Not in real life. And the more they can understand there is evil. They can understand there is good. Like many of us. Understanding these facts drew us closer to Jesus Christ. And I believe that's why the societal narcissists either want to have you numb to the evil going on. Or completely unaware. But with that said. We'll talk about it more soon. But for today. I wanted to talk about the Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez alleged divorce filings. Well it has been reported that Ben Affleck filed for divorce citing temporary insanity when they wed. Now first I'm not calling either one of these people a narcissist. As I don't know them. Although we can see many narcissistic-like traits displayed from Jennifer over the years. And there are tons of reports people don't like to work with her because of these traits. And Ben is quite private and it's hard to say what his problems are or aren't. But what we are going to do is just look at this as an example hypothetically speaking. That one is a narcissist and one is the dupe codependent that has finally woke up to what is happening to them. If this is the case. Filing for divorce citing temporary insanity is probably both true and genius at the same time. Now I'm not saying anyone else should do the same. But you see. When you are trying to escape a narcissist. They want to make your life a living hell. And do the most to damage your life. Now though we know a narcissist will do what they can to make us look like the bad one. Even if that means making false claims against us with the attempt to get us locked up even. And we the codependent will miss chance after real chance to not falsely make a claim and get them locked up. But to do it for a real deal reason. But something interesting happens. When such a situation does happen in the moment. And the narcissist gets locked up. It's like they lose most of their power. Now are they still dangerous? Yes. And they should be seen as such. And you should protect yourself accordingly. But the paperwork and most of the court processes in getting away from such people oftentimes start to work in your favor. Well if someone were to file temporary insanity. Though this might be true. Especially if they were loved bombed. Or they dated the person before and never fixed themselves after such a toxic relationship and they got back together. So yes. Temporary insanity could be very true. But also the hope might be. If the divorce for this reason is granted. Is it possible such a person can walk away with less damage and the paperwork becomes that much easier? You see. I've said it for years. Escaping a narcissist is like. You are a prisoner of war. And you are digging the tunnel under the noses of the guards. And you have to be crafty and careful with your escape. And you might have to come up with some really unique yet legal things to do to keep yourself safe and from the narcissist ruining your life. Now sometimes you just have to just leave. Because we've seen many times of husbands and wives putting stuff in their spouses coffee or drinks. Attempting to delete them from planet earth. But if you think you can put together a plan. Start planning right now. Don't think about if they are a narcissist. If it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck. It's a duck. What type of duck it is. Isn't your concern. You just have to get yourself to safety and you might have to come up with something creative from keeping the narcissist from getting their pound of metaphoric flesh from you as you leave out the door. Because trust me. They will try to take it. All day every day. Temporary insanity in filing a divorce. That's a first for me. But if you've ever been with a narcissist. 
It sounds pretty darn accurate. Well that's all I have for today. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also like. Comment and share. So this information gets out to those who need it. With that said. I do hope your day is blessed. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.